All right, so now uh, I'll show you how to install VirtualBox and get started on Windows installation. VirtualBox.org is our website. Under Downloads, you can choose your installation. Uh, mine will be the OS X. And so I will go ahead and download this piece. The uh, download is uh, completed for me, and I have VirtualBox as well as Windows 8 ISO file. So we'll go ahead and go through uh, our installation process. There are two versions of Windows that you can download, either the 64-bit or the 32-bit. Uh, I downloaded the 32-bit. That's what the x86 stands for. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, install uh, VirtualBox here. We'll say continue, install. And momentarily, this is going to be completed. All right, so virtualization is now installed, and I can go ahead and start it from the Applications menu. Here it is. So the next step on our agenda is to install uh, or create a new virtual system. To do that, we'll say New. Then we'll call this uh, Windows. This is going to be Windows uh, 8, 32-bit. So again, I'm matching this x86 name uh, and that ISO file is the CD image file. So I will go ahead and select 32-bit, hit continue, and uh, the setting is fine. With memory, you want to make sure that you're not using more than half of your actual memory. So we'll go ahead and continue on that. Create a virtual disk and um, number of options here if you are using other virtualization like VMware you want to use the VMDK I'll just stick with a default continue dynamically size is fine and Windows is okay as well actually size of virtual hard drive hard drive uh, we want to make this a little bit bigger Windows can uh, grow quickly on us so having 70 gigs at least would be reasonable we'll go create and now the trick is to point our CD-ROM to the ISO file that we downloaded earlier. So to do that, we'll go ahead and go to uh, Machine Settings, and under Storage, we have uh, the CD-ROM. But now, instead of using uh, the CD-ROM that is uh, physical, we're going to change this into a virtual CD-ROM. Now, I just clicked on the little icon, uh, CD-ROM icon, and I'll say choose file. And now, under my downloads, I will point this to the Windows 8 installation file. Hit open, OK. And now, I will start up my Windows file, or my Windows uh, virtual machine. So what you, what you see happening right now is Microsoft Windows is actually uh, kicking uh, up the uh, installation process and so I could uh, uh, walk through this installation now to choose my uh, username and password uh, create new users and uh, continue with uh, the Windows 8 installation process okay I'm going to stop right here and we'll resume in a, in a future video